There, oh, okay, there you go. That's cool, that's cool. I am a big advocate for good healthy hobbies and that sounds like a good one. Okay, so we leveled up last round. We can get a we can get our third rank in something. What do I end up using the most? Um, I mean, it might be good to go for the champion. Because you get that Paragon, Paragon and Renegade scores boost. So getting that sooner than later seems pretty good. I honestly don't use much of these powers yet. I, more, I, I use them less than I probably should. Um, hmm. Pillar doors and hmm. I, I feel like I would like improved cryo ammo. So that I'm just freezing more often with like my machine pistol. Seems really good. Just a little. It's not as exciting as going for like one of these. Hey, what up, Kel? Yeah, I started a little late, but uh, I went out to dinner with family. So we started a little later today. But we'll try to get a couple hours in tonight. What do you recommend, Kel, to start going for next? Like Assault Mastery, getting that to like full sooner because of the Paragon Renegade scores of the champion? Seems pretty good. Uh, we had some, uh, Taco Mac, so wings, wings, celery, some queso. I'm very full of stuff. I don't, I don't use charge as much as I probably should. Greatly increases your charge impact, knocking targets back further, doing more damage. Focus generated by this field also briefly slows the world down around it, giving you more time. Oh, that would make it seem, that would make it, I, I would use it more if it was heavy charge. Because it slows down time as well, so I can at least get to some kind of cover. Because that's my issue, is like, when to charge in and not die. Because I'm trying to not die, you know? Yeah. See, that's why I was thinking Assault Mastery. Just going ahead and getting that to full. I mean, I'm getting like a solid 5% more health, 3% more damage, 3% cooldown reduction. And 30% Renegade and Paragon. Yeah, I think this is our call. Because we're already at level 2 of all of them, which feels pretty good. I think getting 4 Assault Mastery is solid. Because we get more Paragon and Renegade per choice now. So we won't run into that issue as we go on, go along. I think we'll do that. That feels good. Um, and as far as what we want to do today, um, I, I want to focus on the assignments, the side effects. So, in 7, Eclipse Smuggling Depot? An Eclipse Smuggling Depot has been detected on planet Doratar. Faryar system, Hourglass Nebula. Cerberus would pay very good money for any cargo recovered from a site. I said we do that one. That doesn't sound like it's... gonna have anything too crazy or progress or anything, so... Oh gosh. We're gonna be only one way. Okay, I was gonna say. Um Where's the mass relay? It's this way. So let's go to the mass relay. Fuel reserves at fifty percent. Sabi Alibi. We're still gonna have to go around later to, uh, you know, scan and probe all of the planets and stuff, but. Start. Probe launched. 
Whoosh. Whoosh. Good. Probe launched. Relay got is got its own ring, right? Okay. Eighty percent, huh? Is the prison ship purgatory? I don't want to go there yet. But is that the the twenty percent I'm missing? I'm guessing. We'll wait on it. We're gonna have to come back here anyways. To recruit the convict. Uh, secure smuggled cargo. And the hourglass nebula. I see it. Scared. Launching Rich. away. Probe launched. That's where we're going to end up landing. Launching probe. We got a lot of materials, man. Doesn't seem like we're going to have any lack of upgrades and stuff. I think the last time we were playing, I got basically every upgrade we had available to us as far as the ship and like passives and stuff. But maybe after this mission, we'll have some more updates. We probably won't really have any, any updates to the ship until we get new crew members, right? Probe. Skadoosh. One hundred percent. All right, let's go ahead to Daratar. See what this is all about. Uh, I don't think we've had any updates to armor. It's gonna be any better. So it's fine. Kasumi and I think Morden's what we've been doing. And they probably have. Yes. Uh, we got his incineration blast maxed. Um, we may want to just kind of wait until we get our squad members loyal before I like save, start saving up some points for them. Might be good to get her level one of this. Or level two. Level two is like such a minimal difference here. Shepherd. Sh 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 shepherd. Yeah, I think we can give her Master Thief so she can have at least these benefits. That's, that's pretty significant. <laughs> And then I think that's fine. Uh, I don't think we've gotten any uh, weapon updates. So I think we're good. Okay. Hey, Camry. I'm doing good, man. I hope you've been good, too. 
Good to see you, brother. Hello there. Good, 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 good. It, oh. Uh, everything inside me wants to look on the other side of this. But I feel like there's not going to be anything over here. But the gamer in me is like, OCD, you go look. Okay. Nothing. I was right. Hello! Hello, Slab Ramsey. Good to see you, dude. Good to see you guys. I know I haven't been... Ah! I haven't We've been, been streaming as much. What? shouldn't stand behind the crates. We're supposed to be saving there, Kasumi. Unbelievable. Mm. <coughs> These things are crazy strong, man. There's three of them around here? Is that one gonna, like, start attacking me? Okay, the side missions are really hard now. Frick. I don't have much, uh... We'll keep Kasumi, but I almost want Kasumi and Garrus for this because they've got a lot of shields that I can't really get through. So I think I want to take Garrus for this mission. Um... Yeah, we'll give him that one upgrade. That's fine. Fine, it's fine, it's fine. Because he's got overload as well, so we can double overload, which I think will help I guess these these freaking things. There's gotta be Always love seeing you slab, and that's good to hear, man. Glad you enjoy the vibes. Um Yeah. Cryo? Cryo doesn't seem to be doing anything against They've these guys. They've seen us. They've seen us, eh? One start attacking. General Soli, thank you, man. Hello from across the world. Where are you at, sir? Thank you, man, for the seven. Damn, it's already been seven months, Soli. That's crazy. Feels like we met yesterday. Thank you, man. Lord, okay, so those. Uh, how do I want to go about this? That's two deaths, by the way. Hold on. Uh, death plus. Uh, uh. There we go. Um, I think Kasumi is still fine because she's got overload. I mean, the double overload definitely helped with that one guy. 
This is a tough mission, man. I wasn't expecting a side effect to be this difficult. Um, I still think we need Garrus and Kasumi, though. She's got overload and heavy warp, though. Actually, Miranda might be better than Garrus for this particular fight. Because she can use heavy warp as well, which is good. She can... Once overload phase is done. Kuwait? Oh, okay. Okay. Well, thanks for chiming in, man. And I, we appreciate your service always, man. I'm assuming that's what you're over there for right now. But I'm glad you got some time where you can uh, hang out at least. Chime in. It's good to see you, man. Um, For her... I mean, we could buff up. We should, should probably buff up Overload. Overload's just too good. Yeah, we'll do that. Man, I was not ready for this difficult fight. Um, Switch up! Done. Oh, 436. We've been spotted. Couldn't even freeze time so I could charge there. Dude, why? What is these power spikes here? Am I even like, am I like under leveled for this? Like, this is really hard. I think this is the right call with them two, but this is really hard. It's been the hardest fight in the games. Harder than that, uh, gunner fight. And there's three of these I need to take down? Like... There's gotta be something I'm missing. There's gotta be some way to, like... Take them out easier. They've seen us. Got it! Usually we do this later in the game. Yeah, this is, uh, this is rough, man. Yeah. routing right now. Really? That actually hit me. I got stuck on the invisible floor. Dude, why is this so hard? I might have to come back to this. Hey, what up, Kitty Sith? I might have to come back to this because this is like, what, five deaths already? I'm going to give it one more try, but I feel like we're completely underleveled for this. Like, this is... There's three of these things, and I have, like, nothing for them. Like, nothing.
Like, if I had ammo... Like, I don't have any heavy, heavy weapon ammo, so it's like, I'm not... I hate that it, I don't get, like, stocked up on ammo before I come out. Am I able to, like, get ammo on the Normandy? Do you guys know? Like, the grenade launcher would be clutch here, but I don't have any ammo for it. get like our first shot off Yeah, we're not ready for this. Like, we are way underleveled. We are way underleveled. That's ridiculous. There's no, like, indicator on, like, difficulty of missions, though, which is, like, the really annoying part. Um. Yeah, whatever. We are, um, we're not ready for that. I didn't think side missions were going to be harder. Like, like, there's, like, a skill cap. Like, you have to have, like, a certain level in this game. Which I'm not a- I- I- uh, Do I have to seriously... Explore all of these again? Unreal. Okay. That's, uh, that's something that could definitely be improved about the game. And, and I think the modding community, community could probably get on top of that. The fact that there's, like, not any indicator of, like, recommended... Um... Like, well level... Launched. Is absurd. Because, like, there's... Yeah, I could I might be able to get through that, but it's way harder than anything else we've done in the game. And there's no indicator of that. It's a side mission. Launching pro. And I can't even like run around to see if there's like something I don't know, I guess I could run around and see if there's like something to deactivate them or something. Because that seems absurd. Like, I don't even think I could be able to kill all three before they break all the crates. So, I don't, I don't know. I, oh, I really, gosh. I very much dislike that. No sort of, no, just need an indicator of, like, recommended level for this. If you're under this level, it's going to be extremely hard. Just a heads up. Probe away. Something like that would be nice. Because you would think it's the side mission, so it would be, like, what we should do before the main missions. But it's like the opposite. Like we need to be doing like main missions and then go to some of the side missions, apparently. Which is kind of, kind of stupid, but whatever. I just hate getting all those deaths, like literally pointlessly. It's really annoying. Cause that's like the whole, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm going for is like the least deaths possible. We just got like six of them for no reason. Um, yeah, we're out of here. We're not ready for that. And part of me thinks the next one's not going to be any easier. Lost anything with the N7, I feel like it's going to be really hard. Lost service operative is believed to be held in an eclipse base on planet Lorik, Father System, Omega Nebula. The operative may have sensitive data that if lost to eclipse could cause irreparable damage to Cerberus. Okay. 
I mean, we can try for that one, but I feel like it's in the same sort of classification as this one. So I feel like it's just gonna be just as hard, if not harder. But that's, uh, that's pretty wild how difficult that was. Three of those things? What? showing that mission on my overhead here. <laughs> Maybe we just go ahead and uh, recruit our next member. Start doing that. What do we think? The warlord or the convict? What do you guys think? <laughs> 